Hey guys, Brett here, connecting from UB Central, and today we finally got some information about crafting, customization, and the skills that will be appearing in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Before we get started, I just want to apologize for not making a video on this a bit earlier. Last week, as most of you know, I got to play AC Syndicate for about 4 hours. However, we weren't allowed to upload any menu sections of the game. So I've been holding this video off until Ubisoft officially released some screenshots showing off these various features. And just yesterday, they did. So with that being said, let's get started. So one of the most asked questions I received this week is what will customization be like in AC Syndicate? And fortunately, it's pretty similar to Unity in a lot of ways. In Assassin's Creed Syndicate, you will be able to select your weapons, your Assassin's Gauntlet, your outfits, and the color of your gear. The main weapons featured in the game will be the Kukri, the Cane Sword, and the Brass Knuckles. Keep in mind though, there's tons of variety when it comes to these weapons, so you can pick which weapon fits your style the best. And on top of these options, Jacob will choose from a variety of belts that will give him defense and stealth bonuses, while Eevee will have a selection of capes. Now there is some gear that will be exclusive to Ubisoft Club rewards, but all you have to do to access those is link AC Syndicate with your Uplay account, which is pretty simple. But besides that, you will be able to unlock all of the gear just by progressing through the game. Or you can use microtransactions, it's up to you. Moving on, another feature that will be returning in Assassin's Creed Syndicate is crafting. This time around though, crafting can actually be used for upgrading your gang. Some of these upgrades include discounts on certain items, bribing the police, sabotaging the Templar's carriages and weapons, making the rook stronger, and much much more. And in addition to upgrading your gang, you can also craft bomb pouches and medicine, which is always nice to see. And to craft things, you will need resources, and these can be found in many chests spread across London, or you can actually gain them through various missions. And last but not least, let's talk about the skill tree and Syndicate. Skills will be broken into three categories, Stealth, Combat, and Ecosystem. Stealth and Combat skills include combo boost, lock picking, and health grades, while Ecosystem skills will affect things like Eagle Vision, Carriages, and the Rooks. Continuing on, Jacob and Eevee will both have some unique skills, so let's start with Jacob. Jacob will have Gunslinger 2, Defense 3, and Mutilate 2. Gunslinger will allow Jacob to get automatic headshots when countering enemy shots. Defense 3 will let Jacob take less damage from melee and ranged hits. And Mutilate helps Jacob bring his enemies into a near-death state much more quickly. And this will be especially useful when setting up multi-kills. Now let's switch gears and talk about Eevee's unique skills. The first is the Chameleon ability. This allows her to be nearly undetectable when she stands completely still. Only enemies very close to her will actually be able to see her. And after that, there is Knife Master 2. And this allows her to carry twice as many throwing knives as Jacob, and they also inflict quite a bit more damage. And last but not least, there is Stealth 3. This makes her far less likely to be detected while walking, doing assassinations, or anything like that. And that's everything we know about Assassin's Creed Syndicate's crafting, customization, and skill tree. As always, to stay up to date on everything Ubisoft, make sure to subscribe right here on UB Central. Welcome to the Rooks. <laughs> Please like this video and subscribe for more from UB Central.